Hi everyone, Teacher Suzanne here. Welcome to day three of your vocabulary challenge. Today we are still working on kitchen terms and I think we'll move to another section tomorrow, another section of the home. All right, so our first vocabulary term today is sweet. S-W-E-E-T, sweet. That's a long E sound, sweet. All right, things that are sweet, cookies, cakes, ice cream, chocolate, candy bars, those things are sweet, okay? Number two, sour, S-O-U-R, sour, sour, all right? Things that might be sour, um, sometimes citrus fruits like lime or lemon are considered sour. Okay, it kind of makes your mouth go kind of pucker a little bit. That's sour. Number three is bitter. And depending on where you live, it might sound more like a D, bitter, bitter. The T is very soft there. So depending on the region where you live, could be bitter or bitter, okay? Um, something that might be bitter is coffee no cream or sugar. The coffee has a kind of a bitter taste, okay? Bitter, B-I-T-T-E-R, bitter. Next, salty, S-A-L-T-Y, salty. Some things that are salty are chips, like potato chips, crackers, um, tortilla chips, uh, lots of snacks, uh, popcorn, salty. Salty, S-A-L-T-Y, salty. All right, number five, savory. Savory, S-A-V-O-R-Y, savory. Things that are savory are often meats and they may have a salty kind of taste to them. Um, bacon would be considered savory. Um, usually meats, especially beef, would be considered savory. It has a little bit of a salty taste most of the time. So something with a salty type taste are, is savory. These next ones are ways to describe how, they're all ways to describe how something tastes, but these are expressions of something tasting very good. All right, and you can use any of these. Um, of course you can say something is good, but let's try to use some different adjectives to describe how our food tastes. Um, let's get a little more creative. So good is always okay. This tastes really good. This is very good. Um, number seven, our word is delicious. Delicious. I think ice cream is delicious. Delicious, D-E-L-I-C-I-O-U-S, delicious. Um, I think that pizza is delicious. It is also savory. Unless you have pineapple on it, then it is savory and sweet. That's a different discussion. Okay, number eight is tasty. Something is very tasty. Uh, these cookies are very tasty. They're sweet and tasty. They're sweet and they taste very good. Tasty, T-A-S-T-Y, tasty. Uh, another one I like, and maybe little kids use this one a lot. I still use it too. Um, yummy, Y-U-M-M-Y, -M -M yummy. Um, I think that Chocolate cake is yummy. Um, little kids often use that to describe foods that they really like. Maybe mac and cheese they think is yummy or their favorite candy might be yummy, okay? Uh, my last one is mouth-watering. Mouth-watering, meaning that it makes your mouth water. It tastes so good. It's getting all those uh, digestive mouth juices ready for the food. Mouth watering. M O U T H W A T E R I N G. Mouth watering. 
And again, depending on what region you live in, the T may sound a little more like a D, uh, especially where I come from, um, originally from the Midwest, the T has a little more of a D sound, water, uh, mouth watering. You don't hear the mouth watering, you hear mouth watering. Okay, so that could be a regional uh, pronunciation there, but very common in the Midwest to have that T sounding like a D sound, watering, okay? So let's review today's vocabulary. Sweet, S-W-E-E-T, sweet. I like sweets. Um, I like sweet food, such as ice cream, cookies, cake, chocolate. Sour. I think that lemons can be very sour, but when you add sugar and make lemonade, it becomes nice and sweet. Bitter. I think coffee tastes bitter before you put cream and sugar in it. Salty. One of my favorite salty snacks is popcorn. Savory. One of my favorite savory foods is bacon. Good. Another way to say that you like something. Delicious. Another way to say that something is very good. Tasty. Another way to say something is good or delicious. Yummy. Uh, a good, an expression of the, liking something very much. Yummy. I think this ice cream is yummy. Mouth-watering. That pizza is mouth-watering. All right, so those are our verbs. Sorry, not verbs, these are adjectives. Uh, ways to describe how something tastes, okay? So I think we'll wrap up our in the kitchen with this one and maybe at the end we'll do, a, maybe if I can do record a cooking thing, I'll try to use some of the terms that we've done. Tomorrow look for um, vocabulary for words around the home, ways to describe furniture and things in our home, all right? Thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed today's vocabulary challenge, day three. Don't forget to click on my link above in my bio to go to my page and access the Word documents for the vocabulary. Everybody have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good evening, afternoon or morning, whatever you may, wherever you may be. Thank you, bye.